Ecovator's motion material has many properties. One of these properties includes buoyancy. To display this, we decided to throw an engineer of ours into the river. We gave him a boat. This boat had dimensions of about 3 feet by 5 feet and was about 4 inches thick. It needed to float a 165 pound man. We needed a lot of mushroom material. To figure out how much material we needed for the person that we would be floating, we took spare parts from our facilities and tested them in small pools of water. From there, we stumbled upon a mold that would be perfect for our needs. We put this mold through the production process of sterilization, packing, growing for about a week, and then finally popping the part. Because of its size, it took longer than most parts that Ecovator produces to dry. Once it dried out, we brought the boat to the river to float an engineer. So uh, I think it turned out a lot better than I would have expected. Uh, based on the size of it, I didn't think it was going to hold me for even like a second. I mean, we're pretty much only, I'd say, like a wax coating or something like that away from actually using it as a, um, you know, some type of temporary, maybe temporary flotation material. You know, based on how well this uh, this one went, yeah, I'd say like it'd be, it'd be pretty interesting to build a much bigger one of these. The first time I looked at this boat, I was like, absolutely sure that it was going to just plunge into the water and break apart immediately. Um, but, uh, but we went for it and like it turned out to be surprisingly buoyant and uh, you know it, uh, it held me there for a while. So I'd, I'd call that a success.